Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be installing my super secret wax starter pack, which I bought myself. I think I bought it from Merlin Cycles. It was really expensive, something like £36 and that's with a bit of discount. And um, basically I, I really struggled to find a lube that works really well for me. So I've tried the Ceramic C3 from Muckoff, which I really like, but in England it just doesn't work because the minute it starts raining, it just washes off. Um, and apart from that, every other lube just kind of gets grim and dirty. Um, I've tried other wax type products before, so I've tried Squirt, but I found that that creates a really noisy drivetrain. So I, I'm not a massive fan of Squirt. So I've heard of this Silka Super Secret for quite a while now. I think it was recommended as one of the best in quite quite a few reviews. But um, I was listening to the Roadman Cycling podcast about three months ago now, and the guy, the owner of Silka was on there, and he was talking about this product, um, along with the new sort of part one product that they just brought out at the beginning of this year, which is a chain stripper, so it prepares a chain perfectly for the application of the Silka wax. So this could all just be marketing rubbish, but I thought I'd give it a go for what it costs. Now it, they do recommend using a new chain when you install it, and it is time now on my giant TCR to buy a new chain and replace it. So I've got a genuine Shimano chain here, just in weird wrapping, um, but it is a, a genuine one and uh, I will, yeah, I'm going to install the chain, then I will follow the instructions on the bottle for this and then I'll, I'll test it out and report back. But this video is just going to be pretty much me installing a chain and how to apply this stuff. So yeah, let's go to the garage now. Okay, so I've got the bike in the stand. It's a bit of a squash in here. Um, I would normally work on it, probably inappropriate. I'd normally work on it on there because it just gives me a bit more room. But this bike is currently missing a wheel and I've got nowhere else to put it. So I've got the bike stand out and put it in the garage. So yeah, this is the old chain. Uh, the bike's pretty dirty. I, it got filthy yesterday and I didn't have much time to clean it. So I did a quick job, but pretty, pretty poor to be honest. Uh, you can see the hub is pretty dirty still. Um, but the chain's pretty clean. Like it looks a bit dirty, but it's just warm, but it is. It is clean. Uh, so just to show you how worn it is, uh, I've got a very well used chain uh, chain measuring tool and the 0.75, it's not going all the way down yet. So there's still a bit of life left in it, but I think for, for the cost of a chain compared to how much cassettes cost, especially on a 12 speed, it's worth changing it as soon as possible. It has done about 3000 miles. Um, so yeah, let's get that off. Um, I'll measure that up against the new one and then fit the new chain. And while it's off, I'll do a better job of cleaning up the cassette, the jockey wheels and the chain rings, just to make sure that everything is as clean as possible for when we apply this new wax. Now, I wasn't gonna film this, but I really find removing these quick links really difficult. So I'm gonna super rec quickly recommend this, which is a little quick link removal tool. These are like three quid on eBay and they're so simple. So to remove it, you just uh, put it in on the remove side, click, and that's it, it's undone. Um, I'll need new other hand now just to grab it, but yeah, just thought I'd point that out because these are sort of like worth their weight in gold. Okay, so I took the wheel out to clean the cassette properly. That is currently outside drying, um, and yeah, jockey wheel's cleaned, and uh, chain rings are nice and clean. Uh, the bike is still quite dirty, absolutely disgusting. I don't actually use this bike in bad weather usually, but where I live there's a lot of farmers and uh, they leave a lot of crap on the road and this is what you have to deal with. And then my method of installing a new chain is actually to, I have this piece of plywood that's pretty clean. I um, I cleaned it again this morning just to make sure it is. Um, and it, it's a perfect length for doing chains on. So I line the old one up at the top and then put the new one at the bottom line all the links up so they're all in line and then you know that you just need to break it here um because you know presuming that you are happy with the chain length and you're not changing the size of your chain rings or your cassette then you just want the same length of chain um one thing i will recommend is buying a decent uh chain tool i can't remember what brand this is i think it's worn off it um it was quite expensive it was like 30 quid or something um, but it's way better than the really cheap little uh, silver ones that you get. Uh, you often get them in like the packs at Aldi or even Halfords, the tool packs, and they tend to bend and not uh, break pins well, whereas this is just so good, it works perfect every time. So well worth buying a decent one. 
So I don't know if you'd be able to read these instructions, but basically there's a couple of options. One is to soak it in, um, in this chain stripper uh, for five minutes and then agitate it and then you're done. Or the other option is to have it on the bike and you drip it onto the rollers, allow it to soak for five minutes, back pedal for 30 seconds, rinse with water and then repeat. Um, I think I'm going to do the second one. I'm sure the first one's better, but you don't get much of this. So I don't know how I'm going to find a container really where I don't have to use much of this and can submerge the chain. Um, I could use an old SRAM chain box or something, but I don't know if I've got one. Um, so I'm going to go for the drip method. Uh, and let's hope that works. Uh, it says spray or drip and spraying would be quite nice because obviously you've got the coating on the edges as well, but um, we, we'll just drip, we'll just drip. Okay, so the new chain is on and I'm in a bit of a weird gear. So I'm in the big ring here and I'm in one of the biggest on the cassette as well, which creates a bit of a cross chaining effect, which according to Silka, that means that you kind of get um, a, a lot more movement in the chain when you're spinning the pedals so when you're applying the chain stripper it's actually able to get into the rollers and work it again this this does all sound very marketing but it's um it makes sense right it does make sense uh, so yeah this looks pretty extreme but i think it's okay um so i'm going to drop it on drop the chain stripper on um onto every roller as I rotate backwards, do about three rotations. Then we wait 10 minutes, then do it again, then wait a couple of minutes. Then I'll take it outside, wash it off with water. Then we let it dry completely before we apply the wax. Okay, I don't know how well that became out on video, but Probably, don't know if I went quite quickly, but I've used, I don't know, th this should do about three trains, so I want to have used a third of this after my second application. Um, so I have, think, I've used probably about a sixth there. Um, I went quite quickly, but I watched the video of the guy from Silka doing it, and he also went quite quickly, so I've just tried to copy exactly what he's done. It does look like it's got quite good coverage, like you can see it's all dripping here and here, so it must have got a decent coating. Um, so we will now leave that for 10 minutes, uh, then we will do it again. Um, then we will wait a bit and then wash it off, like I said. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna go for the second application now, but I just thought I'd touch the chain. And if you've ever felt a new chain, it's always really sticky with that sort of like manufacturing application, lube, grease type stuff that it comes with. And this one, it, it has all gone, even off the sides. Um, yeah, so that's, that's quite, quite impressive so far that it's just stripped it so well um so yeah uh, i won't film applying it again but i'll apply it again and then uh, wait a couple of minutes and wash it so the chain is now fully prepared and it is super clean like there's nothing at all on that chain i've never <laughs> never had a chain that has been quite that clean even when brand new um so yeah the stripper worked really well super impressed by it so I'm going to drop the wax on now. So I'm going to move the chain down the cassette slightly so it's straight. Then I'll drop one drop of wax um, on the ro on each roller and do that for two rotations. Then we're going to rub it in and then we'll work the chain up and down the cassette. Then we'll leave it to cure for about 40 minutes. And uh, then I'll wipe off the excess. Then I'll leave it overnight and then it should be good to go. Although I might do a second application in the morning. So one thing it says is with the bottle, make sure it's really, really well shaken. It does uh, apparently settle and it goes really thin at the top. Now I'm applying it like this. I'm applying it really slowly just to make sure to get a good coverage. It will take a while. It is quite thin actually. I think I'm going to shake it a little bit more. Okay, it's still pretty uh, pretty thin, but I'm just going to roll with it. Thinner than I'd like to be honest. Uh, but I've shaken it ages and it doesn't seem to be getting any thicker. So I'm just dropping a bit. I'm losing loads. It does definitely seem too thin. Um, yeah, so I, I, I won't bore you with this. Um, I'll just, I'll just do this myself. OK, 
okay so that's okay so that's rubbed in to the chain now as per the instructions so I'll just roll it up and down the cassette um, then I'm just going to wipe off a bit of the excess that's in places we don't want it and and then we'll let it cure obnoxious hub noises so yeah let's just wipe off the excess that's like here and um, yeah I know it's gonna get on there eventually but let's just keep it as nice as we can um, so yeah that's that's the application I am worried about how thin it is but maybe that's okay Um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, in about 40 minutes, I'll just come and wipe off any excess sort of off the side of the chain. Um, and then um, I'll leave it overnight in the morning. I think I'm going to do one more application. I'll shake it really well to get another good application. And then I will leave it another 24 hours before I actually ride it. I'm not planning to ride this bike for a while anyway, because it needs a new rear tire. Um, so uh, that'll be okay. So I'm going to call it for this video. It's more of a my experience applying it rather than using it but I will talk about it in a future video and when I've done that video I'll I'll put a link here somewhere in the description or in a card or something um, with my opinion on that um, I will be using it and uploading videos again soon because I'm going to Andorra next week and I'm taking this bike with me so I will be using it um, I'm making videos and I'll mention it in one of them um, so yeah that's I think so I think that's it for today so yeah thank you for watching um, I hope it's been useful. There's not many videos using this stuff that isn't made by Silka um, that are on YouTube. So yeah, it, it's really easy to use. It is time consuming. You do have to do quite a lot of prep to make sure that the bike's clean at the start, the drivetrain's clean at the start. Um, and then, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit of a faff having to do the whole, put the uh, chain cleaner on, then um, wait and then do more and then wait again and then clean it off and then wait for it to dry and then apply it but hopefully now all that's done it's going to be super easy to maintain um, it should be super easy to clean the chain because it shouldn't get that dirty anymore and then you just apply more on top and then the only time I have to do that whole cleaning rigmarole again is when I get a new chain which is going to be sort of like next year now because we're nearly at the end of the season so um, yeah thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one